Hey, what's up? My name is Jenny. Welcome to Divine Family Tarot. Today I'm going to be doing a general reading for Taurus. We're going to look at past, present, future. Let's see what's coming up for you. Keep in mind that these are general readings. That means take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If it's not your story, that's okay. If you're interested in a personal reading, go ahead and click on the description box below for my website information and how to book a reading with me. So let's get into it for Taurus. What's going on for Taurus? Past, present, future. Clear and accurate messages, please. Queen of Wands just came out, so I feel like a lot of you guys could be working on your physical appearance and just feeling better about yourself better than ever with that card. Let's get started. There's a lot of reflecting on the past right now, and that's what I'm getting. There's probably somebody who can't let you go or who you can't let go of because I'm getting it both ways. So let's dive in and see. Right now, your overall energy is the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is somebody who's reflecting, somebody who's looking back at their investments, looking at what they've given to. And so I feel like there's somebody in your energy who you probably can't let go of because I am also seeing in your current energy right at the center is the Four of Pentacles. You could also be thinking about money. So this does, if this is not love for you, that's fine. This is also money. So this is possibly looking back at investments, things that you have spent a lot of money on. And I feel like right now you could be at a place where you're saving up money instead of trying to spend it. So if you're not looking for love or if you're not, if this is not a love thing to you, then just replace every love related thing with finances because <laughs> that's showing a very heavy also in your reading. I feel like in the recent past, there has been a chance for a new start in a different direction than what you're uh, used to. And I'm getting resistance when it comes to changing directions as far as a new start goes. So we're going to take a look. Right now, you're coming off as the magician, four of pentacles and page of pentacles. So I feel like there is someone heavily, heavily, heavily in your energy on your mind. And you could be talking to this person. You could still have them around. It could just be coming off as a friendship, kind of. However, there's feelings there. There is, with the Four of Pentacles being there, there's like holding on to this person. For some of you guys, that's holding on to a job, holding on to a workplace that you feel like you can't move on from. In the near future, I do see work specifically and i see you giving a lot more effort into a certain uh career path and you reaping a lot of rewards from it and it really really going in your favor so let's go ahead and start to clarify let me get the seven of pentacles This is a love reading. Um, it feels like a love reading. I'm seeing a lot of reflection on someone who probably broke your heart. There could have been a third party situation here. Um, for some of you guys, it's not even that, but I, I am kind of seeing that. I got to be honest. Um, and I'm seeing a lot of heartbreak. It's also showing me that this partnership didn't have equal give and take in it. You were probably breadcrumbed. Um, there's a lot of reflection on that. So if you think you're over it, you're not. Because I'm seeing a lot of reflection on that, a lot of holding on to that energy, a lot of really thinking about it. Um, 
I feel like you gave a lot of yourself into the situation and that person didn't give as much as you did when it came to your investment in it, when it came to what you gave to it. Let me get the seven of wands and the fool while I'm here because that seems to be a different message than I thought. Hold on. So what this looks like to me, it looks like um, you were kind of being pushed to go in a new direction, but it didn't really work out that way. I feel like there wasn't any movement towards a new direction, whatever that means for you. Um, commitment is showing up heavily. It's showing up as really wanting a commitment. It shows up as really wanting something to work. So I am getting that. I am getting that. Things with this person that you're thinking about. It was pushing you towards detachment. And it possibly didn't happen. It possibly didn't get you to detach as quickly as you may have wanted. But it was really pushing for you to do that. And when I mean it was really pushing for you to do that. I mean the energies around. I feel like the experiences the experiences you were having with this person was really pushing you towards a different direction. Um, it's something that you were heavily thinking about, but you didn't take much action on. And I'm seeing the resistance because of possibly wanting a commitment with this person. I'm seeing resistance because of possibly wanting this to turn into something it wasn't. And the reason I say that it wasn't that is because you show up here very, very hurt. You're showing up very hurt that this didn't take a turn for the better. It comes out as like you having fresh energy for this and you wanting something to work out here and it not working out. Um, and you kind of keeping all that pain to yourself. It is under the moon. And it is showing a lot of pain because something didn't work out. It wasn't as successful as it could have been. Could be that you and this person are not really communicating all that well right now. Um, and if you are communicating, this shows me disappointment on the fact that you have a lot more emotions than this person. You're seeing a very spiritual connection here with the lovers. You're seeing a lot of love that you have for it. However, there is a lot of disappointment tied to this. And the magician is showing me that you're thinking about all that. And not only are you manifesting this connection, but you're manifesting it to kind of do the same thing because if you're disappointed in it, you're manifesting it to come back in the same energy. You can't change the energy of another person. You can't manifest someone else to come back in better energies. That's not how it works. You can only be in better energies yourself. You want someone back. It's showing me them coming back. It's still disappointing you. If that's something you're thinking about heavily right now, let me get the four of pentacles. Sorry about that. It feels like you're holding on to this person in hopes that things will change to commitment and hoping that this person will come towards you and hoping that this person will come and 
really like court you, want to be with you in that same way that you want to be with them. It's holding on to hope is what I'm seeing here. I have something in my eye or my eyelashes are going crazy. I don't know what is going on there. It's bugging me. So I'm showing you waiting on someone to change their energy towards you, to come towards you with more love. However, I'm also seeing communication here with this person being uh, on a friendship level. There's almost a detachment that I'm seeing and it being a very toxic connection for you. I'm not going to lie. It's coming off as being very toxic. I'm not saying that that person necessarily is toxic or that you're toxic, but what it's coming out to me is like, there's two people here and you're both on different pages. Um, especially if this person cheated on you in the past or broke your heart or didn't give to this, it's almost like you're still giving to this. Energetically, at least you're still giving to this. And it's like being worried that things are not going to work out the way you want them to here. I'm seeing sleepless nights. I'm seeing even nightmares about it. Um, there is a detachment here from this person. I don't see that changing. I don't see that changing. Nine of cups. You have goals that you need to pursue. I'm seeing you really go for it with the Ace of Swords. That's what just popped out and I put it back in the deck and it just came out again. So I'm seeing you going in a new direction. And this time it's a different direction with the Fool being here and the Star and the Nine of Cups. This is different. This is not going towards a specific person. This is you working on your goals, working on your dreams, working on things that you want to do for yourself and taking action towards it. Also being more emotionally stable. The thing about this connection here in the past, it feels very codependent. It almost feels like you can't let this person go because of fear of being by yourself. Or it could be that they can't let you go because of fear of being by themselves. Either way, unhealthy. Either way, whether that was you or them, unhealthy. You don't let, you don't let somebody stay around because of the fear of being by yourself. That could come off as being bored or needing some kind of entertainment. That's codependency. Entertain yourself. Don't be bored. Aren't there things that you want to work on? Because I'm seeing you work on them in the near future. So don't you have goals that you want to achieve? Don't you got things that you need to do for you? It's really easy to get wrapped up in someone else when they're there. And this is showing me a kind of a flip on your energy and you start to focus on you. I see you taking action on yourself and your goals and what it is you want to do for yourself. Sorry. I heard something like clearly walk through my living room. All right. Whatever's there, you need to like walk right through it and keep on walking. Go to the next apartment. Um, I'm seeing a lot of good changes coming up for you once you turn that focus from someone else to you. You get the eight of pentacles. There's a little bit of resistance here to connect with friends or family that you may not be currently focused on because I feel like currently it might be all about love or all about this other person who's kind of taking your energy away. Um, and it could be that you may have had some fallouts with some friends or family here with the three of cups and the eight of swords, but that's going to change. I see, I see that changing. So if, if you're having a moment where you're not talking to a few people, I do see you making the effort, but 
it's when this person's not in your energy. It's, it's when you're focused on yourself and your goals. It's when you realize that there are people around you that really care about you and love you and want to see you do really well. Um, this past person did not give you that effort. They broke your heart. They played mind games with you. Probably. I'm not saying the mind games card come out, but for someone to still come up in your energy as being detached yet bonded to you, it does give me a very up and down type of an emotional roller coaster. Um, I am also seeing for some of you, you leaving your job, your current career, whatever it is that you do, and you're going towards something way way better here in the future. And it's something that you know deep down inside you want to do, you know deep down inside you want to create for yourself because you are showing up as a high priestess, as this being the way you're being guided. So that's what I'm getting for you. Um, what can you tell me about this connection for Taurus? Okay. It says, fate, this is a destined partnership. Destined or not? I'm going to tell you something. My goodness, I really had to get down and get these cards. Fate and it being a destined partnership does not mean that this person is for you. It means they were there for a reason. Stability. This relationship can stand the rest of the test of time. Vulnerability. You can completely... You can be completely open with this person. Release, radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. And chemistry, the attraction you feel is mutual. I feel like, hold on. Let me get one more. Leap of faith. It's safe to make the move you're considering. I feel like leap of faith is actually getting a complete detachment from this person. Fate, stability, vulnerability are things that you did not experience with this person. I'm seeing that in these cards. I'm seeing that in these cards. These are things you did not experience with this person. And the next person that comes into your life, you will experience that with because you already know what it's like not to be heard. There could be a lot of sexual attraction between you and this person definitely is what I'm seeing. However, that's not going to be sustainable. It's not. Sexual attraction doesn't sustain anything, um, unfortunately. It is showing me you taking a leap of faith in a different direction. Let me get one for the new direction. Wait, the timing is not quite right. So there's still things that need to get out of your energy for you to move in a new direction, and that's okay. I am seeing you do that and I'm seeing you thrive, especially with a work thing. Let's pull an Oracle card for Taurus. What's going on for Taurus? Be thankful. In this busy world, it can be hard to remember to appreciate the positives. This card is a reminder of how important it is to appreciate your loved ones, both past and present. Even though there are difficult times, try to be grateful for the lessons the challenges have taught you. Wisdom can come from hardship. The tough times have made you the resourceful and resilient person you are today. Appreciate the food, shelter, clothing, water, and clean air you have access to each day. Connect with your family and friends and loved ones. Love them for who they are. Do something you enjoy and be grateful for the pleasure it brings into your life. Also remember to say thank you to the universe and to your spirit guides for all their help. Soul Taurus, I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, hit like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.